Every so often, you might need to restructure your existing code without changing its behavior. You don't want to do it manually. Live is too short. Let's see how WebStorm can help. Let's say we want to change the name of a symbol, which might be used in a couple of places in a file. But now it's broken in another file, which imports it. So we change our mind and put it back. Let's use project wide refactoring to rename app to be my app. Right click on a file, select rename file, choose the new name, and let the IDE rename it for us. The IDE will also find all the references to it, including the ones in comments, strings, and text. The IDE is smart. It knows you probably want to rename the exported symbol when renaming the file. As a last step, we get a confirmation of the steps the IDE will take. Review these, then click Do Refactor. The cool thing about this is that if you change your mind, you can easily undo the refactoring. Just press Command Z on Mac OS or Control Z on Windows Linux, and symbols return to their previous name, as do the file names on disk. There are quite a few other refactorings available in WebStorm. You can look them up using the context menu, right click on a symbol you want to change and go to refactor. You'll see all the refactorings available in the current context there. The refactor this pop-up will also work for this too. To invoke it, press Control T if you're on Mac OS or Control Alt Shift T if you're on Windows Linux. This pop-up also shows you the list of currently available refactorings. Let's try to perform another action that WebStorm can help you with, extracting a component. Why do it yourself when the IDE can do it for you? We just need to decide on a few things and we'll get a component created for us on one side with the usage on the other. We've just seen two popular refactorings in action. There are a few more and we encourage you to try them for yourself. To get inspired, check out the WebStorm guide at jetbrains.com slash webstorm slash guide. There you can search for tips that mention Refactor and find some examples along with links to other relevant material.